Hello everyone, this is uh, Sayyid Adnan Haider with Canada's Trending Videos and this is a new uh, video series regarding uh, 70-410 uh, uh, which is installing configuring uh, Server 2012. It is the first exam in the series of MCSA and MCSE. Uh, uh, so first of all, my introduction, I'm a, I'm a technical trainer and a senior systems admin uh, for about 15 years and I specialize in, in, in five different areas in Active Directory, was in all different versions. I worked on uh, all, uh, most of the infrastructure services as DNS, DHCP, WDS, WSUS in the real environment. I worked in Exchange uh, right starting from version 5.5 all the way to, to the latest which is uh, 2013. I work with the system center, SCCM, SCOM, SCOM, SCVMM, and SCDPM. Uh, and at the same time, I've worked on both flavors of uh, virtualization from VMware and uh, Microsoft Hyper-V, SCVMM. Uh, at the same time, I've also worked in Citrus projects. And I have I've delivered uh, many, many trainings in regards to all of these technologies. So, so for now, uh, for now what I'm doing uh, is in this training, uh, this training is basically to prepare you for exam 70-410, and it is part one of the video. So in this video, I'm going to go through preparing our laptop for the training lab. What are the software required for this uh, to set up the lab for 70-410? And then I'm going to go through, sh show you how to install, download a uh, product called VMware Workstation, which is a virtualization product uh, on Windows 7 as well as on Windows 8. Uh, and then at the end, we're gonna, at the end of this video, I'm going to uh, show you how to create the first VM. So let's get started. Oh, before going on to the lab first of all let's uh, let me let me tell you which software are required for this lab so we're going to need vmware workstation <coughs> any version uh, above version 10 uh, now the latest is 12 but uh, 10 11 12 any version if you can get it, it can be downloaded directly from vmware website at the same time once you have the software we're going to install it now this software makes it possible to uh, to create virtual machines in uh, within our laptop, within a server, within a desktop, or any other machine. Along with VMware Workstation, we're going to need ISOs uh, for the operating systems uh, that we uh, will be creating VMs for. So we need an ISO for Server 2012 uh, and an ISO for Windows 7. And if you need a VM for Windows 8, you can uh, you need an ISO for that. For now, for our lab, we need 2012 ISO and Windows 7 ISO. ISO, by the way, is the image of uh, our, of, the, of these operating systems that we use in, in VM. So let's get started. <clears throat> so at the moment, what I have here is I have a Windows 7 machine. You might have a laptop. You might have a desktop. In both cases, <clears throat> we can install, uh, we need to prepare this machine for the class lab. So here, this is my Windows machine. So first of all, make sure that you do have internet in your Windows 7. So all we need to do is go to Internet Explorer. <clears throat> if you have internet, it directly connects to internet. Uh, I mean, if you have internet in your, in your computer, it directly connects to internet. So uh, at this point, what I need is I need a, Virtualize, virtualization software, uh, just like we said, uh, we said in our slide. So in order to get that virtualization software, we need to go to a website. So first of all, I'm going to go to our favorite search engine, Google. So you go to google.ca or google.com, and then look for VMware Workstation. And once you're here, <clears throat> this is bad. Don't don't go here. You need to go here, VMware Workstation, and 
you can go to this side as well download VMware workstation 10 try VMware Pro uh, 30 days so it, it automatically gives you 30 days of evaluation period you can use VMware workstation for 30 days and after that either you need to buy this product or you can uh, you can kind of uninstall and and like reinstall in some cases it might work uh, provided they don't have any restrictions, VMware. So here VMware Workstation 12. I'm going to download it. Save it. It is saving in download. So VMware is downloaded. It took about uh, seven minutes. So I just paused the video just to make it a uh, shorter video. All you need to do now, since it is VMware workstation is downloaded, all I need to do is run it. And now it's going to install VMware workstation. Now the main purpose of VMware workstation is in VMware workstation you can create VMs. It's looking for uh, security warning. Uh, asking for permission to install the software. So it runs the setup. And next, pretty much you don't have to select anything. Uh, just go with the uh, uncheck this. Uh, you don't have to check for the updates and you just uncheck these two and then just do the install. It's going to take uh, another few moments. Depending on how fast your machine is. Now, while this is being installed, I'll wait. And since it is a very first video, I won't do many things at the same time, although I can, uh, just to make it very simple. So at one time, I'm just installing me and the workstation. So once it is being installed, just let it do whatever it needs to do on this machine. It makes some changes to the network, and since it will be will be creating VMs inside, it creates its own network inside uh, inside Windows 7. I'm gonna pause the video once it finishes, and I'm gonna start again. So it took about another. Uh, let's say 10 minutes or less than 10 minutes and finished. We don't have the license so we're going to work with uh, the evaluation version and we the workstation is installed. So I'm going to I'm going to minimize this window and here this is how it looks like we the workstation. So this is our first thing that we need to do. Now looking back on our <coughs> our slide uh, just to recap, we needed to prepare our lab, uh, computer lab for a 70-4 time training, and this is the first thing we did. We installed VMware Workstation version 12, actually, and now we're going to work with ISOs. So here, once it is installed, let's see how it uh, how it starts. Uh, all you need to do just double click on this, and it will ask you for the license key. You don't need a license key. Uh, it, uh, we need to try it for 30 days. You can enter your email address that you're using the evaluation version. Can I? Okay, we must enter uh, email address. So start. So this is how VMware workstation looks like. To start with, there are no VMs. On this side, you're going to have VMs. And here, how you create a VM. But before that, uh, let's talk about ISO. ISO, uh, so I have copied ISOs on this computer in C drive. I have four ISOs here, one for Server 2012, one for Windows 8, one for Windows 7, and one for Server 2008. Now these are all evaluation versions. These are good, these are good for 90 days. Uh, you can get them off the internet. You can download them from internet, find them over the internet. 
or you can contact your friends they might have them who are already working as MCSC or MCSA they might have the ISOs uh, now once you have these ISOs I recommend that create a special folder on your C drive or D drive and call it Canis so that we have all our Canis related software sitting in this so here I'm gonna move all of them inside here now we need to remember that we are in a computer and here it is called D drive in your computer it might be C drive and here there is a folder called Canis and in Canis we have all the ISO so if I need to create so now we have the ISO if I need to create any one of the machines, for example, I need to create a Wix Server 2008, I need to go to Computer, Your Drive, my case D Drive, and Canis, and here it is. So let's create our first machine. All you need to do, you need to open VMware Workstation. If this icon is not here, then there might be two reasons. It might not be installed properly, or maybe the icon is not here, it might be here inside VMware. So you can go to all programs and right here you can find the icon right here. All you need to do is start VMware workstation and let's create our first server. So here you need to create VMware new virtual machine. Just select keep typical next and here you need to select ISO. So this is where you need ISO. Do not go without, you can go without this, but then it won't install anything. So here you need to provide the ISO and go browse. And where did we save it? We saved it on uh, D drive and Canis. And here is server 24. So you just enter the ISO here and next. And you can name it anything. Let's say in my case, I'm gonna name it SRV1, uh, and SRV1, and it is being stored in this location, and press next, and next, and next. And now it automatically starts this machine, and automatically start installing server 2012. Now, uh, so, so you will get this error message first time in your, uh, in your laptop or real environment as well. Uh, now this there, there there might be two reasons. Number one, your laptop does not have VT enabled in it. Your laptop must have VT, which is virtual thread, virtual threading. This must be enabled in your machine. And how do you enable it? You need to go reboot, restart your machine, your computer, and go into BIOS and make sure that this is enabled. Now, since in my case I'm making this video inside a virtual environment it uh, might not work uh, but uh, let me show you how uh, what do you see in BIOS so here all you need to do in this virtual environment all I need to do I need to start your computer in BIOS so uh, in order to start my computer in BIOS uh, what I need to do is I'll, I'll restart my computer and show you how BIOS looks like So your computer is starting up and this is how your BIOS would look like. Now this is, you can get to this BIOS in your computer by uh, maybe pressing F8 or maybe pressing F1. Some computers have, uh, 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 some, uh, some computer have, every computer has a different combination. But the important thing is, as soon as your computer starts in right in the beginning in few seconds, it will give you an option to go into BIOS. And within the BIOS, you need to either go into Advanced, and here you would find something for uh, virtualization, and you need to enable it. As I said, in my case, because this is a virtual environment already inside virtual environment, uh, I won't be able to find that feature here, uh, but you should be able to find uh, in your machine and just enable VT. If you're not able to enable VT, just send me a message and I'll help you out with enabling VT. Or you can find many videos out there in your, uh, on YouTube. So in this video, what we did, basically we, uh, we installed VMware Workstation. We installed VMware Workstation in our uh, Windows 7 machine. Now, let me quickly show you how to install Windows 
be a weird workstation on your Windows 8 machine. So on your Windows 8 machine, once it starts, it will be something like this. It's a newer interface. And Windows 8 or Windows 10, all you need to do, go to your desktop here. It will be written as desktop. And once you're here on a desktop, go to Windows Explorer. I already downloaded and copied the VMware workstation on C drive. I also have a ISO. So here, all you need to do, just double click the same VMware setup. Or if you don't have it, again, you can go to internet and download. I already copied it in C drive. It runs the setup for the first time and do the installation. So again, we'll be using a evaluation version on this machine we don't need to check updates and uncheck these and done once this is all done you should see an icon right here once the vmware is started and the rest of the process is exactly the same so guys in this video we have seen uh, we have seen how to set up our lab for v for vmware for 70-2010 in the next video i'm going to show you how to create uh, virtual machine based on our, our class architecture and your, for your home lab as well. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next video.